What's up everyone? Emily here with Travel and Ledger and I am here talking Vegas all week and today I am talking about five different things that are going to help you decide where you want to stay in Vegas. For a lot of you, it's probably your first time in Vegas, so I know it seems daunting, like do you stay on the Strip, do you stay all downtown, where do you stay, do you stay off the Strip? I'm giving you the top five ways to decide where to stay. I'm trying to make it easier for you guys. You're just gonna know where you wanna go by the end of this video. I also have a bonus tip at the end, so make sure you stick around. So this is number five of my top five ways to choose where to stay in Vegas. So this tip might actually be the most important one because you're going to save yourself a lot of money if you just stay in the right place. It really comes down to what do you want to do? Like are you going there to gamble? Are you going there to sightsee? Are you going there to go to like Red Rock Canyon? Like what kind of experience are you looking to have? You know, all this factors into where you should stay because some casinos are closer to the highway. Others are going to take you through traffic to get off of the highway if you're renting a car. So if you're just looking to explore and for example, go to Hoover Dam and Grand Canyon, you don't have to stay on the strip. You don't have to stay in old downtown. You can just stay at one of the random little hotels nearby. A lot of them are super cheap. So you can always visit the strip and visit old downtown, but you don't have to stay there and spend all that money. You can just stay in your hotel, especially if you have a car, it's probably free to park your car at those little hotels. And at the strip or any of the casinos, they're gonna charge you per day just to park your car. On the flip side of that, if you're looking to like party all day, party all night, club it up all night, you're gonna wanna stay on the strip because all the clubs are on the strip. And if you're looking to just drink and relax and chill or sit by the pool, then you could stay old downtown because you could just chill and relax easily. Or you could also do this on the strip. You don't have to go to the club. So these are the kind of factors that I'm talking about. Like really think about what you wanna do and that's going to help you figure out where to stay. Tip number four kind of rolls off of number five. What kind of experience are you trying to have in Vegas? Do you want that VIP experience? Do you want that campy experience? Do you want to see all the different casinos that have something to offer? Like you want to walk into Caesars one day and then walk into Venice the next day and then walk to the Egyptian Luxor the next day and then Excalibur. So do you want that like campy experience and sightseeing or do you want like that VIP? I just want a nice steak. I want room service. I want a spa. Think about that because that's going to factor in where you're going to want to stay. Because if you want to stay on the campier side of the strip, you're going to want to stay on the lower side of the strip because that's where most of the themed casinos are. And then you have, you know, Venetian and Caesars, Bellagio and Paris is in the middle. So are you looking for the fancier theme experience? Are you looking for like the campy experience? Does that make sense? And that brings me to tip number three on how you're going to decide where to stay in Vegas is how much money do you want to spend? Because if you're going to stay at the win, that is going to be a hefty price tag versus if you stay at Luxor, which is one of the cheaper ones on the strip, you're not going to spend as much money. Because trust me when I say you can go to Vegas and spend thousands of dollars or you can go to Vegas and spend like $5 at McDonald's or White Castle or slices of pizza and have just as much fun as you would spending thousands of dollars on like a fancy dinner. So it really comes down to what you're going there for. If you want that VIP experience, then you're going to want to stay at the Bellagio, at Caesars, at Nobu. You're going to want to stay at the Wynn or Resorts World because they are all about catering to you and your needs. But if you're just looking for somewhere to crash, then you're going to want to stay at like at one of the budget casinos. So you could stay old downtown where it's not as fancy, not as ritzy, or you could stay at the Luxor or Flamingos, which are their budget casinos. Tip number two is do you want to gamble? Because this really, this is really where it all comes down to. Because if you want to gamble, then you're probably going to have more fun old downtown because the table games, for example, their minimum bet is maybe $5, ten dollars at the most but when you get onto that strip the minimum now is like 15 to 25 at a lot of these casinos honestly a lot of them get to be like 25 dollars minimum for table games so it depends if you want to play table games or do you want to play slot machines that's like the same price everywhere but i have heard and i have found that a lot of the casinos in old downtown are looser as they say if you don't know what looser means it just means the machines pay out more and if you think of it it makes sense because on the strip they're paying for all these experiences and all these things happening. They even have like misters blowing out onto the street. So all that stuff costs money. So the casinos need to make their money back a little bit. 
so they're probably not going to pay out as much as old downtown all the casinos downtown kind of have a different spin to them but it's not like you're walking into rome or walking into venice or paris you know they're just casinos and the casinos downtown are also smaller so they're getting a lot more foot traffic versus on the strip where these big sprawling casinos people are mostly walking through to just see what the casino looks like inside so you're not going to have somebody sitting on the same machine and putting a lot of money into it in old downtown people kind of just come in and there's only so many machines so a lot of money is going through the system and my number one tip on where you want to stay in vegas is as i said you've thought about gambling you've thought about what experiences you want to have and it all comes down to the rewards card because at the end of the day if you're gambling say with the mgm casinos then you're going to want to go to the casinos that take that player's card so when you put your money in the machine even though you're walking around checking out everything yay this is cool this is cool the casinos you should decide to sit down and play at should be the ones that you have that rewards card because every time you're feeding your money into the machine you're getting points so it's better to spend your money on one casino's card because that way you rack up points faster and you get those comped rooms faster versus uh for example if you go to the venetian or the win they only have their own card so if you're going to stay at the venetian then only play at the venetian that doesn't make as much sense as if you were going to do the MGM, which has like eight casinos on the strip or Caesars Rewards, which has like 10 casinos on the strip. Does that make sense? Otherwise, it's a free for all guys. It's Vegas. You can honestly stay somewhere different every day if you want to and have a different experience every day. All right, now it's time for my bonus tip. Again, I was talking about rewards card. This really goes into the rewards card. So before you start choosing which rewards card you wanna sign up for and just giving away your email and giving away all your information because they ask you for your name, email, driver's license, uh, home address, they ask you for a lot of the information. So if you're doing that at every casino, that's a lot of people who have your information. So keep that in mind when you're choosing which rewards card, make sure you look at their point system and maybe you have to get like 100,000 points before you get one comp room. You never know, they're always changing. But if you go into like MGM and Caesars, you know right away that they start sending you those free comp room emails where somewhere like the Wynn and Venetian and things, they don't really send you as many free rooms. They'll just give you a discount on your room. But also look at the perks before you sign up. So for example, if one of them is giving away $25 free play, we love that, we love that, but they never give away comp room. So that also might help you decide where you wanna stay because if you wanna come back, maybe you wanna stay at the Venetian next time you're there. So maybe spend all your money at the Venetian when you're there gambling or spend your money all at the win when you're gambling. So what I'm trying to say from my bonus tip is spend your money where you want to stay next time you're in Vegas because all those points that you rack up is gonna to go towards your next day when you come back because you're definitely gonna to wanna to come back because you can't do Vegas in just three days or four days. You're gonna need like a whole month to be able to see everything and then it's changing all the time. So I hope these five tips helped you know where you wanna stay next time you're in Vegas. And if you like this video, check out this playlist because I've gone through every casino on the strip and explained them one by one so you kind of get a better idea of where you wanna stay before you go.